We're going to tie a reverse marabou tube fly. And the reverse marabou tube fly, um, let's first talk a little bit about tubes. Um, so I like to tie a lot of my steelhead or just swing flies on, tu on tubes. Um, the advantage for me of a tube fly is that you're tying on a hollow tube. You're going to insert your tippet through the tube, going to tie your tippet to a straight shank hook, at least that's how I attach it, adding some junction tubing. When I complete the fly and when I'm going to, to fish it on the water, I'll just insert the hook into the junction tubing to complete my fly, complete my connection. So the advantage of this is it places the hook at the very rear of the fly, so it's going to be at the very rear, you know, at, the, at the end of the materials, and a lot of times steelhead or other fish They'll just kind of pull, you know, pull the materials at the end. So if you have your hook located in the very rear, uh, it, it will give you a better chance of hooking the fish. Um, the other advantage is that you're using a short shank hook, uh, and, and there's less opportunity, less uh, leverage for the fish to kind of wrench that out of their mouth. Typically, when you hook a fish, the junction tubing, the tubing will break free right up the leader so that the fish is only fighting against the short shank um, and, and again much less leverage for it to throw the hook so may, you have two advantages you're going to hook more fish with the, the hook in the very rear you're going to hold on to more fish using the short shank hook so let's take a look at how we tie the reverse marabou tube fly so with tube flies i'm going to use a, a special vise just instead of having jaws it has a chuck uh, where the tube will be inserted. You can also convert your standard vise into a tube fly vise by using, there's various um, in, in attachments, but one is like this where you would put this into the jaw of your vise and then insert the tube into this uh, top part, similar to using the chuck here. But this vise is just for tube flies. So, and I'm going to be tying this fly on a plastic tube. So to make it rigid, I am going to insert a mandrel. Mandrel inserts into the chuck. Oops, and I'm going to tighten that down. And we're ready to tie. Nice firm base to tie on. Now, I've referred to this as a reverse tie marabou, and the, uh, the very first steps are we're going to tie this first couple of, uh, of steps of the fly are actually going to be tied in reverse. So I'm going to start my thread like you normally would on a, uh, on a hook. And while this appears to be the rear of the fly, this is actually going to be the front of the fly and we're going to flip it around after the first few steps. And the main reason to do this is, is to prop the materials up so that when the, when the fly is in the water, it'll have a much greater silhouette. It'll have more of a tapered look in the water, similar to most bait fish, um, or, or really anything that lives in the water has, has a tendency to be thicker in the front, uh, tapered down to a, a, a smaller uh, size in the rear. So I picked out, um, usually when I tie this fly, I'm gonna use two pieces of marabou, two contrasting colors. So this one's gonna be black over blue and uh, I, I try to pick out marabou that has fairly thin stems, something that's gonna wrap very easily uh, and not create a lot of bulk. So I'm just gonna get rid of some of this, some of the finer stuff at the bottom. Just give myself a little, little room to work there at the, at the bottom of the stem. I'm gonna tie this in at the tip. This has really been one of my most productive flies, either in the, in the Great Lakes for steelhead West Coast for steelhead. Uh, it's very, very, uh, you know, I've been tying with marabou for a number of years. It's hard to beat the movement of marabou in the water. And while there's a lot of different new materials all the time on the market, I still find this to be uh, 
you know, one of the best in terms of overall movement. It's another advantage of the tube is it provides a little greater surface area as well. So when you're wrapping marabou, marabou can be difficult to, to work with sometimes when you're wrapping just on a thin shank of a hook. But when you wrap on a bigger surface area of a tube, it tends to uh, give you a little, little easier wrap. So we're just going to tie that off. And again, it looks initially like this pattern is going to be, like this is the rear, but this is going to be the front of the fly. So we'll just trim that off. And now we'll put the blue in. And really the sky's the limit with, in terms of uh, uh, colors and color combinations. I mean, black and blue, black and purple have historically been one of my uh, most productive combinations but purple over pink just all pink um, have also worked very well white's a good color good combination on some of the rivers that I fish here in the Great Lakes white's been interesting because it, it works well in the Great Lakes rivers doesn't seem to work as well for steelhead out out in the western rivers so we're just going to repeat this process. When you're wrapping, you just need to make sure that you do not wrap the stem on the, the barbules so that uh, you're not just creating bulk and not getting the uh, benefit of the fibers. You want to make sure all those fibers can move they're not being wrapped up, wrapped up in the uh, stem. So now I've completed that. And we'll just clean that up. Now I'm just going to add a little uh, cactus chenille here to the rear. And the idea of this is it adds a little bit of flash, but more importantly, it's going to build up a little bit of a lump here to, again, help the fibers stay propped up to, to um, provide a real nice uh, silhouette in the water. One thing about marabou is, is, is I'm gonna, and I'm going to make a couple extra wraps right behind the materials here. Create just a little bit of a ball and then wrap that back. But marabou, as well as it moves in the water, if it isn't propped up a bit like this, um, it has a tendency to flatten down and then it won't move nearly as well. Okay, so we're going to just finish this off here. make sure that I'm making sure that I, I leave just a little bit of room here at the end to attach my junction tubing I'm just going to wait to tie that off just add a touch of glue So now, here's one and really one of the reasons that I tie this fly on a tube as well. As much as I like tubes from a fishing standpoint, as you wouldn't be able to easily do this with a hook, but I'm just going to turn this whole thing around. So what was the rear is now the front, and vice versa. So this will now be the front of the fly, and you can see how that, the materials have just really want to stand up so that when that's in the water, 
going to get a nice big silhouette in the front. So I like to add a little flash to all these flies. Um, and we'll just use a little blue flash of blue here. Just going to restart my thread. Just like I would take about three full, three to four full strands on each side. And Actually, like right aside, I, I think of these more like a, a lateral line, so I kind of put them at a 180 degree. Distance from one another. I'm just tying in a full piece and just folding that back. And I'll just trim those so that they're about the same length as the Marabou or just a touch a touch longer. And just to kind of finish this off, I add a uh, a shape and feather and we're just gonna wrap that forward as well. I like shape and has a lot of good movement in the water. It just kind of finishes this fly off. It gives a little more bulk in the in the front too. I, I do like most of my flies to have that kind of look. Um, you know, a bait fish or something alive. Um, and adding just a little bit of shape into the front both finishes the fly off and adds to that bulk. So I'm tying that in at the tip. Just going to fold it back and wrap it in. There's a lot of excess there on the tube, but we're going to trim that when we're done. So just folding that fiber back. You know, usually about three, four wraps will do it. like to keep the head small and there is another advantage here to the to the tube I'll show you in a second keeping that head small so that's that can be the finished product right there Or we could, if we want to add some weight to this, slide on a cone, and we could finish this up like that. Sometimes what I'll do is just tie these weight unweighted, bring the cones with me, and then I could add the cone when I'm on the water. Um, and I'll do that just by keeping enough. So we'll we'll trim this down here. But you keep enough extended beyond the head so that when you slide the cone on, you can flare that 
plastic out with a lighter. I usually just keep a lighter with me so that you could add the uh, cone while you're on the water. So you can change, so you can just tie everything unweighted um, and, and then just go to a, a, a weighted fly at that point. Um, the other thing is you could always add uh, dumbbell eyes to this um, when, when it's finished. Uh, that's a, another thing. And, uh, you know, then you can also just, if you're just going to fish this uh, unweighted, you can just flare that, uh, flare the plastic out um, and finish it up that way. So just, you, know, you can see it's fairly simple fly to tie, very effective. Um, like I said, marabou in as much as it's been around forever, uh, it, it's still, when I think of, of flies for swinging, um, I, I really want my flies to be able to just move without any adding any action to them. They should be swimming, moving in the water, enticing a fish to grab it. Uh, and marabou does that, you know, as well, really, as any other materials. Um, you know, the one thing probably that uh, you just have to be careful of with marabou a bit is, especially when you're spay casting, um, it, you, you know, it can wear down. It can wear down a little bit uh, to a point where... Um, you just have to make sure that, that you, you know, from the actual casting, especially if you're losing your anchor point and, and uh, um, kind of snapping those casts sometimes, um, it, can, it can take a, a bit of beating on the material. So you just have to keep an eye on that. But aside from that, Marabou tube is reverse tie. It, it's really a, a great, great pattern to use. And I suggest you give it a try. Mm -hmm.